Hey everyone, today we're gonna unbox this uh, Lunchbox Junior, which is a, a tiny amp. Sometimes when I go jam with friends or I practice with a band, I don't want to carry everything because I use the Axe Effects in my studio for, for recording and stuff. And I just don't like to unhook all the cables and stuff and all that. I just want it to stay there and be ready whenever I'm ready. So that's why I got this power cable. It looks like a toy, but it's, it's pretty heavy. It's not super heavy, but it's heavier than what you might think but it's really small, which is great. There's a few very interesting features in the back of the amp. There is a headphones out right here. You can also switch the speaker off. So if you are practicing using your headphones and you don't want your neighbor to hear that, you can deactivate the speaker. This is um, a cool thing. If your amp falls on its back, this is gonna prevent um, damage to happen to the different connections because it's kind of, getting out like that, so it's gonna kind of roll off. It's a cool little little thing here. Um, auxiliary input, that's awesome. You can plug your, your phone or your iPod into the amp, allowing you to play with uh, backing tracks. The backing tracks are gonna go through your speaker in the front. Um, 12 volt DC in. This allows you to power the amp through batteries, a set of batteries. If you get the um, the battery pack that you can get on their website, you can also run this via um, a car battery if you want. So if you're on vacation or something camping, you can do that. Um, and this this is awesome. The nine volt DC out allows you to daisy chain pedals, effect pedals. So this is going to power your pedals. This is really a wonderful thing. If you are playing a small gig or, or a street gig, you know, on the streets and you're plugging your amp, you only need one power outlet because the amp is gonna kind of allow you to daisy chain your pedals. Only three controllers, the main volume, the tone, which is gonna brighten up or darken your sound, and your gain. Now the gain on this is maybe not the best gain for heavy metal and extreme types of music. Well, actually, take out the maybe. It's definitely not the kind of gain that you're gonna wanna use for those kind of music. But you can use pedals, and that's gonna allow you to really play with any kind of tones. And um, the amp is really clean when set to a clean signal, which is great for pedals again. We'll start with the amp completely dry. I'm gonna start with a clean tone and then we'll see how much gain we can get out of it and what kind of distortion we can hear. Let's not try a few pedals. For the pedals, I am going into my Boss CS3 compressor sustainer. I love that pedal. It just kind of adds, I think, a professionalism to the sound, to the tone. Now, you don't have as much um, velocity control on your notes, but I think it smoothens things out really well. I just love the sound that a 
that a compressor can add to your tone. Then we're going to go into a modulation pedal. It's the shaker the from the TC Electronic Mini Tone Prints, and this is the, the shaker. Then I'm going into one of my favorite distortion pedals, overdrive pedals, from Visual Sound. This is the VSXO. It's a dual overdrive. On one side, I'm gonna use this as a boost slash overdriven tone. And then if I activate the second knob, I'm gonna get into full overdrive distortion tone. <laughs> And this is going into the flashback delay. It's also a TC electronic pedal. After playing with the ZT Lunchbox for a little while, I'm really pleased with the kind of sounds that you're getting out of it. Plus the size and the weight at only five pounds. It's a great practice amp practice not only alone in your room in an apartment, but also with a band. I think after cranking this up, it will cover a drummer, on the, unless the drummer is super, super loud, but um, this will do the trick in a band situation, band rehearsal situation, and it's so portable that it's definitely worth checking out. If you are in a hardcore death metal band and you're looking for that really polished distortion, use pedals with this. The, the distortion that you're going to get out of this is not going to suit your needs for really high-end type of uh, distortion tones. But with pedals, as you saw, it works great. And uh, yeah, you should definitely consider this if uh, you want a super portable amp that will allow you to practice with a band and uh, yeah, so easy to carry. That's my thoughts. I hope you like this review of the ZT Launchbox. Thanks for watching this. See you soon on my channel. Until next time. Salut